Here we found that global growth continued uh, in 2013. However, there were mixed signs with limited growth only occurring in the European Union bloc countries. In 2013, however, US policy inertia, along with federal and state government uh, austerity programs, as well as the Federal Reserve's uh, tapering of its bond buying program in the United States, tended to have a tempered effect on overall growth in the US and by consequence on global economies in 2013. Luckily, however, for the global economy, inflation remained relatively subdued, and this is due in part by relatively weak commodity prices. This tended to have quite a positive impact on uh, unemployment rates in the major economies of the world, where we saw, for example, a particular um, improvement in the unemployment rates in both the US and the UK economies. However, I should add that in the EU block of countries, the unemployment rate still remains relatively high. But when we look at what's happened between 2012 and 2013, it seems as if the unemployment rate there has plateaued. So that seems to be a good sign for what will be happening in the European Union economies uh, for the near future. However, there was a mixed message associated with employment um, within the major economies of the world. We found that, for example, in the United States, although unemployment rates uh, improved there, there was a lower level of labor market participation, which meant that many people who were perhaps seeking work in the U.S. market um, and were unable to find that work over long periods of time decided to give up on searching for work. So therefore, labor market participation rates in the U.S. tended to climb tended to decline, and this in effect gave us a mixed, a mixed message with respect to unemployment.